Wolf Trap National Park for the Performing Arts, originally known as the Wolf Trap Farm Park for the Performing Arts and simply known as Wolf Trap is a performing arts center located on 117 acres 47 hectares of national park land in Fairfax County, Virginia, near the town of Vienna, through a partnership and collaboration of the National Park Service and the non-profit Wolf Trap Foundation for the Performing Arts, the park offers both natural and cultural resources. The park began as a donation from Catherine Filene Schaus. Encroaching roads and suburbs led Mrs. Schaus to preserve this former farm as a park. In 1966 Congress accepted Mrs. Schaus's gift and authorized Wolf Trap Farm Park its original name as the first national park for the performing arts. On August 21, 2002, the park's name was changed to its present one, thus reflecting its mission while keeping the historical significance of this area. Wolf Trap Foundation for the Performing Arts The Wolf Trap Foundation for the Performing Arts is a non-profit organization founded by Catherine Filene Schaus concurrent with the donation of her Wolf Trap Farm to the National Park Service. The park is operated as a public-private partnership between the Park Service and the Foundation. The former staffs and operates the park grounds, and the latter produces and presents the performance and education programs. The foundation presents performances in the Filene Center from May through September and at the barns at Wolf Trap year round. The latter venue being adjacent to but outside the park proper. In addition, the foundation operates the Wolf Trap Opera Company, a resident company for young opera singers. The foundation's education programs, also located adjacent to but outside the park proper, include the National Wolf Trap Institute for Early Learning through the Arts, a nationally recognized college internship program, and the Children's Theater in the Woods. This last performance venue is located in the park proper. Topic. Performing arts venues Presently, Wolf Trap National Park for the Performing Arts organizes and runs several distinct venues and facilities as part of the whole park. These include Filene Center The Filene Center, named in honor of Mrs. Schaus's parents, Mr. and Mrs. Lincoln Filene, is the major indoor, outdoor performance venue with seating for 7,000 both under cover and on the lawn in a more casual style. Performances are given nightly from May to early September and cover a wide range of musical styles from country music to opera. The Filene Center was partially damaged by a fire on March 13, 1971, prior to its opening later that year. In all, damages cost around $650,000. Despite this setback, the Filene Center opened on schedule on July 1. On May 10, a benefit concert was held at Constitution Hall in Washington, D.C. to benefit the rebuilding effort, and featured Pierre Boulez conducting the New York Philharmonic Orchestra. In the summer of 1971, 60 young musical performers were chosen for training in music, dance and acting, to culminate in a production in the newly conceived Filene Center. The inaugural season opening was delayed one month due to a fire that destroyed most of the recently constructed center. When the Filene Center was finally completed, the theater, constructed of Oregon Red Cedar, was a 10-story high facility equipped with a computerized lighting system and sophisticated sound equipment. The second Filene Center, constructed between 1982 and 1984, is made of Douglas fir with a yellow pine ceiling. It includes a smoke, fire detection and suppression system, as well as fire retardant wood, which all cost about a total of $1.7 million. The new amphitheater was also built with state-of-the-art sound and lighting equipment. The Filene Center contains a seating capacity of 7,000, including lawn seating, which can fit several hundred more patrons than the original Filene Center could. Also compared to the original, the second Filene Center contains improved access to handicapped people as well as more backstage space for performers and crews. Today, the seating capacity of the Filene Center is about 7,000, including about 3,800 in house seats and 3,200 lawn seats. The dimensions of the main stage are 116 wide times 64 feet deep times 102 high. Children's Theatre in the Woods with 70 performances from late June through early August, Children's Theatre in the Woods presents family-friendly shows at 10.30 a.m. on Tuesdays through Saturdays. 
Amidst 117 rolling wooded acres and nestled in a shady grove, the stage is set for lively adventures in music, dance, storytelling, puppetry, and theater. All performances are recommended for children between kindergarten and sixth grade. In 2011, Theater in the Woods was featured in Best Summer Ever If You've Got Little Ones by The Washingtonian. The 2012 season of Theater in the Woods will feature 34 performances from local, national, international, and Grammy-nominated artists who represent folk, kindy rock, storytelling, theater, world-clad puppetry, and dance. Meadow Pavilion From the park's inception in 1971 until 2010, the Meadow Pavilion, a covered outdoor stage adjacent to Children's Theatre in the Woods, hosted events for the International Children's Festival at Wolf Trap known as International Children's Day from 1971 to 1974. The Meadow Pavilion hasn't been used since 2010, although it still stands, and remains available for rental through the Wolf Trap Foundation. On March 6, 1980, a welder's torch ignited a fire at the Meadow Pavilion, causing around $10,000 in damage. History Origins of Wolf Trap Farm Early records of Fairfax County tell that wolves would run wild in the area, and bounties were granted for trapping them. In August 1739, J. M. Warner placed, "'Wolf Trap Creek", a branch of the difficult run tributary stream, in his survey, evidence that the name has been used for over 270 years. During the 18th and 19th centuries, the land at Wolf Trap had been frequently exchanged between wealthy families in the Fairfax area, including Brian Fairfax, the 8th Lord Fairfax of Cameron and longtime friend of George Washington. In 1930, Catherine Filene Schaus acquired approximately 53 acres 21 hectares of land in the region and chose to preserve the name. By 1956, her holdings encompassed 168 acres 68 hectares, Mrs. Schaus bought Wolf Trap to offer her children a weekend retreat from their home in Georgetown, Washington, D.C. There they grew corn, wheat, alfalfa, and oats to feed their chickens, ducks, turkeys, and milk cows. They bred horses, built a stable and a hay barn, and opened a dog breeding kennel, producing champion boxers, miniature pinchers, and weimaraners. During this time, Schaus and her husband, Joet Schaus, would frequently host large social gatherings for friends, family, and prominent public figures, including World War II generals Omar Bradley and George C. Marshall and several members of the Dumbarton Oaks Conference in 1944. Topic. Donation of Wolf Trap to Congress, 1966–1970 In 1966, after several meetings with Secretary of the Interior Stuart Udall, Mrs. Schaus donated 60 acres 24 hectares of Wolf Trap land, in addition to 38 acres 15 hectares from the American Symphony Orchestra League, to the U.S. government, a donation Congress subsequently accepted that year. In a letter to Congress that year, Udall argued that Wolf Trap would "...augment the park and recreation opportunities in the national capital region and involve the expenditure of only a minimum of federal funds." On May 28, 1966, Virginia Senator A. Willis Robertson introduced a bill to Congress to create and fund Wolf Trap, which passed with relative ease. Mrs. Schaus also offered over $2 million to construct the Filene Center for Performances. Around the same time, the Kennedy Center and Meriwether Post Pavilion, two other nearby concert venues, were also being constructed, so there were some questions in Congress about overloading the area with too many arts and music venues. Representative George H. Fallon of Maryland, for example, opposed the Wolf Trap Bill on the basis that it would only have the effect of dividing a small market and would be in direct conflict with the Kennedy Center and Meriwether Post Pavilion. Nevertheless, Wolf Trap became and remains the first and only U.S. national park dedicated to the performance arts. With this collaboration, Mrs. Schaus became the first person to establish a partnership with the U.S. in bringing performing arts to the nation. Ground was broken for the construction of the Filene Center in 1968, and the next year, Wolf Trap held its first concert. 
A ceremony was held for the topping out of the Filene Center in May 1970, attended by then First Lady Pat Nixon. First performance seasons The inaugural performance at Wolf Trap occurred on June 1 2, 1971, and featured Van Cliburn, Julius Rudel conducting the New York City Opera with Norman Tragel, as well as performances by National Symphony Orchestra, Choral Arts Society of Washington, United States Marine Band, and the Madison Madrigal Singers. For the first several performances at the Filene Center, Robert Lewis, founder of the Actors Studio and acclaimed Broadway director, was chosen to conduct the training program and direct the production called Musical Theatre. Theater Cavalcade. With a multimedia set by Leo Kurz, choreography by Jemmys de Lapp, and musical direction by Johnny Green, the Cavalcade was a history of musical theater from the Beggar's Opera to Hare. Pat Nixon, wife of President Richard Nixon, attended the opening night performance and afterwards invited the entire cast to the White House for a reception. The first dozen seasons saw many performances and events of historical significance. In 1971, produced by the National Council for the Traditional Arts, the National Folk Festival was the first event at Wolf Trap to use the park grounds versus Filene Center itself for performances, and it set a precedent for other events at Wolf Trap to do the same. That same year, Richard Nixon became the first U.S. president to attend a Wolf Trap performance, viewing the Wolf Trap Company's performance of the Musical Theatre Cavalcade on August 12. In 1976, the Scottish Military Tattoo, a bicentennial gift from Britain, performed at the Filene Centre for capacity audiences including Britain's Prince Philip. Two years later, in 1978, the People's Republic of China's Performing Arts Ensemble entertained Wolf Trap's audience with acrobatic troops and dancers in one of the first cultural exchanges between China and the United States. From 1971 until the early 1980s, the National Folk Festival was held annually at Wolf Trap. Other highlights included Sarah Caldwell's production of Sergei Prokofiev's opera War and Peace, the Royal Ballet, Preservation Hall Jazz Band, the annual U.S. National Symphony Orchestra's 1812 Overture Concerts with Live Cannons and Beverly Sills 1981 Farewell Appearance. Composer's Cottage, 1971–1979 In May 1971, plans were developed to construct a series of composer's cottages across the park, where performing artists could stay for a temporary period and peacefully work on their respective works. Although five cottages were planned, only one was ever built. The two-bedroom house was donated by Edward R. Carr, Jr., a metropolitan area realtor, and built by Fairfax County High School students. It was finished and dedicated in December 1973. During the next five years, the composer's cottage hosted several noteworthy composers, including Lester Trimble, Erwin Bazelon and Ellie Siegmeister. In 1979, however, a fire destroyed the composer's cottage, and it was never rebuilt. Topic: 1982 Filene Center Fire. As Wolf Trap was preparing for its 12th season, tragedy struck once again. On April 4, 1982, a fire of undetermined origin, intensified by high gusting winds, destroyed the Filene Center. During the rebuilding of the Filene Center between 1982 and 1984, Wolf Trap received $29 million in contributions and pledges from over 16,000 donors in 47 states and five foreign countries, including a $9 million grant from Congress and support from then President Ronald Reagan and former Presidents Richard Nixon and Jimmy Carter. Weta TV also sponsored a star studded, three hour national telethon that raised more than $390,000 for the reconstruction of the Filene. Center. Almost immediately, the Wolf Trap Foundation, the park's non profit partner, announced that a 1982 season would still take place in the Meadow Center, a huge tent erected in the nearby meadow. The prefabricated structure, purchased with private and government funds, was disassembled from its previous site in the United Arab Emirates and transported to Wolf Trap by the government of Saudi Arabia. Volunteers provided much of the labor to erect the structure. In the aftermath of the fire, the United States Postal Service issued a commemorative stamp honoring Wolf Trap on September 1, 1982. 
The stamp was the first in a series honoring Washington, D.C.'s range of cultural attractions, including the National Gallery of Art and the National Air and Space Museum. The first performance at the newly designed and constructed Filene Center, titled the Filene Center Dedication, occurred on June 20, 1984. The design work was accomplished by Dewberry and Davis, Joseph Boggs Studio, Architects. The new building featured state of the art fireproof design and acoustics. Attendees included opera star and frequent Wolf Trap performer Beverly Sills and then Virginia Governor Charles Robb, as well as Mrs. Schaus herself. <laughs> Wolf Trap Today Wolf Trap hosts an average of 95 to 97 shows during its performance season, which runs from late May to early September. However, due to fewer artists touring in 2009, Wolf Trap only held 86 performances and reported a revenue decrease of about 10%. On September 24, 2011, in conjunction with National Public Lands Day and First Lady Michelle Obama's Let's Move campaign, Wolf Trap held its first annual Let's Move with Music at Wolf Trap event. After touring for 16 years in North America, Riverdance had its final U.S. performance on July 17, 2012 at Wolf Trap. <inaudible> <inaudible> Enabling legislation An Act of Congress Public Law 89-671 89th Congress, S. 3423 October 15, 1966 An Act To provide for the establishment of the Wolf Trap Farm Park in Fairfax County, Virginia, and for other purposes, be it enacted by the Senate and House of Representatives of the United States of America in Congress assembled, that for the purpose of establishing in the National Capital Area a park for the performing arts and related educational programs, and for recreation use in connection therewith, the Secretary of the Interior is authorized to establish, develop, improve, operate, and maintain the Wolf Trap Farm Park in Fairfax County, Virginia. The park shall encompass the portions of the property formerly known as Wolf Trap Farm and Symphony in Fairfax County, Virginia, to be donated for park purposes to the United States, and such additional lands or interests therein as the Secretary may acquire for purposes of the park by donation or purchase with donated or appropriated funds, the aggregate of which shall not exceed 145 acres, Sec. 2. The Secretary of the Interior shall administer the park in accordance with the provisions of Section 1 of this Act and the Act of August 25, 1916 39 Stat. 535, 16 U.S.C. 1-4, as amended and supplemented, Sec. 3. There are authorized to be appropriated such sums as may appropriation be necessary, but not in excess of $600,000, per annum to carry out the purposes of this Act, approved October 15, 1966. See also List of concert halls List of contemporary amphitheaters List of national parks of the United States International Children's Festival at Wolf Trap Footnotes External links National Park Service, Wolf Trap National Park for the Performing Arts Wolf Trap Foundation for the Performing Arts Wolf Trap Opera Wolf Trap Performance Schedule Filene Center Performance Setlists Geographic data related to Wolf Trap National Park for the Performing Arts at OpenStreetMap